Charles Kushner built a billion-dollar real estate empire, New Jersey-based Kushner Companies. But in 2004, he became the focus of a federal investigation, charged in a bizarre attempt to silence a federal witness. It all stemmed from an accusation that Kushner had been making campaign contributions using names of his employees so he could skirt the federal contribution limits. What makes this so interesting is that the man prosecuting Kushner was then U.S. Attorney for New Jersey, Chris Christie. That investigation has surrounded potential charges of federal criminal tax violations and violations of the federal campaign contribution laws. But there is, of course, a different and almost Shakespearean dynamic with Chris Christie and the Kushner family now. He is on the short list to be VP, and he is Charles Kushner's son, Jared who is also married to Ivanka Trump. Charles Kushner, a Democrat, often donated to Democratic candidates. And in 2002, his brother and his accountant filed lawsuits against Kushner, alleging financial irregularities, accusing Kushner of evading federal limits on campaign contributions. Kushner struck a deal, agreeing to pay more than $500,000 in fines to the Federal Election Commission. He admitted using the names of employees for campaign contributions. Kushner also said he defrauded the IRS by claiming charitable contributions as business expenses. In the course of that investigation, Chris Christie's team discovered something else, that Charles Kushner had attempted to blackmail a federal witness using a prostitute as bait. When people under investigation decide to take the law into their own hands, to obstruct justice, to attempt to impede the rule of law, it is our obligation to act swiftly and surely to end the obstruction. Christie charged Kushner with conspiring to obstruct a grand jury investigation. Turns out Kushner hired a prostitute to have sex with his brother-in-law since he was cooperating with investigators looking into the campaign contributions. Kushner had the sexual encounter videotaped and sent that tape to the man's wife, Kushner's sister. He undertook this activity in order to gain leverage over the cooperating witnesses. Kushner pleaded guilty and was sentenced to two years in prison. He served one year behind bars before being sent to a halfway house. He was released in 2006. Years ago, his son Jared, Ivanka Trump's husband since 2009, told New York Magazine about his dad. His siblings stole every piece of paper from his office and they took it to the government. All he did was put the tape together and send it. A sex tape at the center of a case that's likely not going to go away if Chris Christie, the one-time prosecutor, becomes running mate.